गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन टीचिंग प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ डिवाइन पब्लिक स्कूल मोहनापुर गोरखपुर हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर फ्रॉम योर टेक्स्ट बुक विस्ताज ऑफ क्लास ट्वेल्व सब्जेक्ट इंग्लिश द नेम ऑफ द लेसन इज ऑन द फेस ऑफ इट द ऑथर ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इज सूस एंड हिल डियर स्टूडेंट दिस इज द वीडियो नंबर वन और यू कैन से द पार्ट वन of both cbsc now let's have some brief information about the author susan hill is an english author of fiction and non fiction works her novels include the woman in black the mist in the mirror and i am the king of the castle for which she received the somerset mogham award in 1971 now before i start explaining the text of this chapter let me introduce the two protagonists of this lesson that means the main characters of the story the first one is a boy whose name is derry derry is a 14 year old boy who is disfigured and ugly because half of his face was burnt due to spilling of acid on one side of his face he is conscious of the fact that his ugliness is revolting to others and so everybody wants to ignore him or pity him he suffers from inferiority complex he becomes too arrogant and usually avoids any social interaction he hurt people using nasty comments about him and so bears a grudge towards the entire society the second protagonist the character of this chapter is mr lamb mr lamb is an old man who lives alone in a big house with a big garden he is handicapped that means he is physically challenged person having lost his leg in a bomb explosion during the war he is very optimistic that means he is of positive approach his openness is reflected through the poem doors the oh, sorry open doors and windows of his house he makes toffees jam and jelly to attract people he grows crab apples he is never perturbed at being called lamy lamb so derry a 14 year old boy and an old man whose name is mr lamb are the two protagonists of this lesson on the face of it now coming to the specific objectives of the lesson to enable the learners to view others by removing the glasses of prejudice hatred and dislike by learning this chapter by studying this chapter we should be able to inculcate in ourselves the sportsmanship and brotherhood to live our life happily the second objective is to adapt reality of life bravely the third specific objective is to build inner strength and look at the brighter side of the life that means uh we should be always of positive approach in our life now coming to the introduction of the chapter this is one act play having three scenes scene first scene second and scene third it features only two characters an old man and a 14 year old boy both of them suffer from physical impairment the old man has a thin leg as he is a physically challenged person he is having a thin leg because he got one of his legs blown off in the war the young boy whose name is derry has one side of his face disfigured and burnt by acid it is the boy derry who comes to the old man's garden he is by nature quiet and shy and bit defiant as well it is mr lamb the old man who strikes up a friendship with the boy and inspires him to make his life meaningful in spite of the handicap he suffers that means at every step mr lamb tries to motivate the child derry the play also depicts the disappointment and loneliness of a physically impaired person the sense of alienation is more inconvenient than the physical disability now dear student the play is about the friendship between an old man and a young boy 
who is withdrawn and defiant both of them had some physical impairment as the face half face of the dairy is burnt due to acid and mr lamb who is a lame person because uh, one of his legs blown off because of the bomb explosion in the war so they both had some physical impairment but the outlook of each of them towards life is general and pupil in particular was very different the old man had a positive outlook towards life whereas the young boy with the scared face had become withdrawn and pessimistic that means he is of negative approach now dear students i am going to explain the chapter you have to be very attentive you have to listen each and every word of the explanation first of all i will read the paragraph see the first line the first scene is located in mr lamb's garden there is an occasional sound of bird song and of tree leaves rustling there is footsteps are heard as he walks slowly and hesitantly through the long gore long grass he comes round a screen of bushes when mr lamb speaks to derry he is close at hand naturally derry is startled mr lamb asks derry to mind the apples derry enquires about the person mr lamb gives his name and again asks him to mind the apples he adds that those are crab apples they have been blown down from the tree by the wind and are lying in the long grass the boy could step on one of them and fall now dear students see the difficult words which i have highlighted in red color let's see the meaning of this difficult words the first one is rustling which means making a low sound now the second difficult word is hesitantly which means unsure manner and the third difficult word here is crab apples which means wild bitter apples so these were the difficult words in this paragraph i have told you the meaning of this difficult words now let's come to the explanation starting from the first line the first scene is located in mr lamb's garden that means the narrator describes the setting of scene 1 the location is mr lamb's garden one can occasionally hear the birds singing and low sound of the trees leaves that means as usually we hear the singing of the birds and the rustling that means the uh, low sound of the tree leaves in the garden dari dari a young boy enters the garden hesitantly that means dari who is a boy of 14 years he enters the garden in an unsure manner when he comes out of the bushes that means when he comes out through the long grass he is surprised to hear mr lamb talking to him now let me tell you one thing dear students mr lamb and derry are not familiar to each other they are unknown to each other but as i am explaining this chapter for you all for this reason i have already told you the name of the two protagonists that is derry and mr lamb so when he comes out of the bush bushes he is surprised to hear mr lamb talking to him now mr lamb who was sitting in the garden warns him about the crab apples that usually fell in the long grass from the tree above because of the wind derry was shocked on hearing a voice as derry was not expecting anyone to be in the garden he was shocked on hearing a voice he asked as to who it was at this point mr lamb introduced himself and also said that small sore apples known as crab uh, apples had fallen on the ground if derry would not be careful that means mr lamb wants derry to be very careful if it if he is not careful while walking through the long grass he could trip over them and get hurt
now proceeding to uh, proceeding forward derry tries to explain he says that he thought that was that was an empty place he did not know there was anybody there mr lamb asked him not to be afraid he explains that the house is empty since he is out in the garden he observes that such a beautiful day is not worth spending indoors derry panics and says that he has got to go mr lamb assures him that he should not feel disturbed on his account he doesn't mind who comes into the garden the gate is always open it was only the boy who climbed the garden wall derry is angry that the old man had been watching him mr lamb welcomes derry now see the difficult word students that is panics which means sudden fear now listen to the explanation see the first line derry tries to explain he says that he thought that was an empty place now derry said that he didn't know that someone was present in the garden as he was expecting that no one will be in the garden so derry said that he didn't know that someone was present in the garden he thought derry thought it to be an empty garden and even the house seemed empty to him mr lamb tried to comfort him by saying that the house was empty as he was out in the garden he also asked him not to be afraid but derry wanted to leave the place as he doesn't want to face the society or a person because of his ugly face now mr lamb tried to stop him and said that there was no need to leave the garden just because of him he also told him that he kept the gate open for people as he welcome all the people whosoever enters the garden the people who are entering the garden they are welcomed by the mr lamb it was the only derry who jumped the wall because derry thought that there is no one in the garden there is no one in the house and he wanted to enjoy the garden for this reason he jumped the wall derry is angry that the old man had been watching him mr lamb welcomes derry now derry got angry for being pointed at like that by mr lamb but mr lamb who is of positive approach welcomes derry because mr lamb all loves to talk with the people whosoever enters the garden he welcome all the people derry explains that he had not come to steal anything mr lamb assures him that he did that he hadn't he further adds that only the young lads steal they steal apples from the garden he is not that young derry explains that he just wanted to come into the garden he wants to go and say goodbye mr lamb tells him that there is nothing to be afraid of it is just garden and only person that means only one person that is he himself is there derry then says that people are afraid of him he asks mr lamb to look at him and after seeing his face he might think that he is the most frightful and ugliest thing derry says that when he looks in the mirror and sees his face he is afraid of it mr lamb says that the whole of his face is not frightening now see the difficult word highlighted in red color the word is lads which means young fellows now listen to the explanation student see the first line derry explains that he had not come to steal anything now here derry clarified that he had not come to steal anything from there his intention was only to enjoy the garden mr lamb agreed by saying that at many times apples had been stolen by young boys that means young fellows and that derry was not so young but still derry wanted to leave mr lamb told him not to be afraid of him and asked him to stay there for a while derry told him that he was not afraid of anyone now when mr lamb told him that uh derry should not be afraid of him 
and he asked him to stay there for a while so that they can talk and share their feelings but derry told him that he was not afraid of anyone rather people were afraid of him because of his burnt face lamb asked him the reason for that he told him that he knew what people thought that means when mr lamb asked him the reason why the people are afraid of him at this point derry told him that he knew what people thought and how they behaved in front of him mr lamb questioned him about what others thought of him derry said that people got scared on seeing his face some considered it bad or ugly while some even took pity on him by saying that he was a poor boy derry added that they were fake actually they all were afraid of his face he even got scared of his own face now derry here is informing to mr lamb that whenever he sees himself or looked into the mirror he himself is too scared by seeing his image in the mirror he added that mr lamb will also feel pity on him in his heart but he will be scared of derry there is a pause mr lamb now changes the topic he says when it is bit cooler he will get the ladder and a stick and pull down those crab apples they are ripe for making a jelly september is the right time of the year for it the apples look orange and golden he tells derry that he could help him derry asks him what he has changed the subject for he says that the old man does not ask him because he is afraid to do so derry says that he doesn't like being with the people mr lam makes a guess perhaps the boy got burned in a fire derry says that he got acid all down that side of his face and it burned it all way all away derry asks mr lam if he is not interested the old man says he is interested in anybody and anything made by god even grass rubbish weeds and fruits now listen to the explanation student see the first line there is a pause that means there is a silence in the garden after few minutes mr lam changing the topic from the face of the dairy to that of ladder mr lam says that he would bring a ladder and stick and pick fine and ripe crab apples as they made a good jelly he also told him that in september that means in the month of september these apples get ripe and become a magic fruit having orange and golden color he also asked him to join him in doing that means in making jam and jelly derry pointed him for changing the topic that means derry was amazed that mr lamb has changed the topic from face to apples so derry pointed him for changing the topic just like others people did he added that mr lamb didn't ask him about his face that means mr uh, derry raises a question to mr lamb that why you are not asking about my face derry thought that he is not raising a question regarding my burnt face because mr lamb was afraid of asking about it derry got annoyed and said that he did not like the company of people mr lamb guessed that maybe his face got burnt in some fire so mr lamb makes a guess that the face of the child that means the face of the derry is burnt in some fire derry told him that means derry informed him that it was due to the acid that had burned half of his face he was so sad that he kept on repeating that acid ate his face and that it would never get cured but mr lamb was of different opinion that to of derry mr lamb did not agree with him derry thought that he was not interested in his story for this reason he has changed the subject to this mr lamb said that he was interested in each and every creation of god he pointed out at a wall and asked him what did he see beyond it 
Derry replied that there were weeds or unwanted plants. Mr. Lamb explained that there were a number of plants in the garden. There were flowers, trees and herbs. Some plants were considered good and some were called unwanted plants, that means weeds. It was not because they were of different. All of them were green in color. It was about how people considered them to be herbs or weeds. That means it depends on the view of a person. All the trees, herbs, flowers are of green color. Even the weed is of green color. But people consider them to be as herb or weeds. In reality, they all were same, just like Darian himself, that means Mr. Lamb. <clears throat> when Derry says that they are not the same, Mr. Lamb says that there is no difference. He is old, Derry is young and has got a burned face. The old man had got a till leg. His real one got blown off years back in the war. Some kids call him Lammy Lamb, but it doesn't disturb him. There are plenty of things other than his leg to stare at. He refers to beauty and the beast. Derry says that no one will kiss him. He won't change. Derry says that people talk about persons who are in pain and brave and never cry or complain and don't feel sorry for themselves. People try to console people suffering from physical impairment by asking them to think of all those people worse off than them. They might have been blinded or born deaf or have to live in a wheelchair or be insane and dribble. But all this will not change his face. Even totally strange persons call him terrible. Now see the difficult words highlighted in red color students. The first one is blinded. That means caused to be unable to see. The second one is deaf, which means lacking the power of hearing. The third difficult word is insane, which means seriously mentally ill. And the last one is dribble, that means to run in mouth. Now see the first line. When Derry says that they are not the same. Now, Derry did not agree to this opinion of Mr. Lamb, that they all are same. Mr. Lamb told him, that there was no difference. He was young and Mr. Lamb was old. He had a burnt face and Mr. Lamb had a till leg. These things were not so important and so they didn't make any difference. Derry asked him the reason behind his till leg. That means Derry wants to know about his impairment, physical impairment. Mr. Lamb replied that it got damaged in an explosion many years ago. Kids teased him by calling him Lammy Lamb. Derry said that he could cover the till leg with his trousers so that no one could see it. Mr. Lamb said that it did not bother him much as one day people would get tired of teasing him and would start discussing something else. Derry showed his face in reply to Lamb's statement. Mr. Lamb suggested that things like crab apples, weeds, spiders and all the tall sunflowers could also be some of the other things that people would probably look at and distance. That means Mr. Lamb told Derry that there are many things in this world to be watched and discussed. Derry commented that the other things mentioned by Mr. Lamb were things that were non-living. Mr. Lamb replied that all the things were related to each other, just like beauty is related to the beast. A beautiful creation is related to ugliness. Derry was confused by the statement of Mr. Lamb regarding the beauty and the beast. Mr. Lamb asked for Derry's opinion. What do you think? about the beauty and the beast. Derry replied that often he had heard people saying that beauty is not related to one's appearance, rather inner beauty is our real beauty. <clears throat> Even a handsome man is the one who does something good 
rather than one who looks good that means student you should always perform good deeds physical appearance or the face appearance is not important your etiquette your behavior your character makes you a good man he said that at once that means mr lamb said that at once a beautiful girl loved a beast for who he was and kissed him which turned the beast into a handsome prince that means here mr lamb narrated a brief story about the uh, beauty and the beast or you can say he set an example of a girl who was in love with a beast and when she kisses that beast which turned the beast into a handsome prince he wouldn't have changed if she hadn't kissed him but then he said that he won't change there he said that <clears throat> he could understand what he meant by all this now there he is slowly and slowly trying to understand mr lamb and his views there he said that he could understand what he meant by all this he had heard people saying that you should take a lesson from those who suffer in pain and never cry or complain about their problems mr lamb said that he didn't say so there he continued that people told him to look at those people who were in worse conditions than him that means many of the times there are people who told derry that you should not be worried about this physical impairment of your burnt face you have to look to those those people who were in worse condition than you they told him that he might have become blind be born deaf or be handicapped and have to remain in a wheelchair he may even have been born with mental disorder mr lamb said that yes it was true and that dairy knew so much dairy said that all this would not change his face even totally strange persons call him terrible now here students uh, to give a support to his view that uh, this story about the beauty and the beast or kissing of a girl to a beast changes him into a handsome prince is not going to help him out to support his statement he says that one day as he was waiting at a bus stop a woman passed by he heard her telling another woman that he had such a terrible face that only his mother could love him and no one else could mr lamb asked him did he believe what he heard there is stress that he heard it mr lamb asked that was this the only thing he had heard from someone there he said that no he had heard many other things too mr lamb suggested him to shut his ears not to pay attention towards the comments of the people he should ignore all this type of comments now to motivate derry mr lamb sets an example mr lamb said that there was a beehive in one of the trees people considered the buzzing sound of the bees now dear students whenever there is a bee in the class or when we see the bee and when we hear the buzzing sound of the bee we considered the buzzing sound of the bee as a noise but for mr lamb it was song sung by the bees but all this will not change his face even totally strange persons call him terrible but derry is not ready to change himself he doesn't want to change from negativity to positivity now theme of the story the play deals with the sense of loss a sense of isolation 
and how to overcome it. The actual pain caused by a physical impairment is often much less than the sense of alienation felt by the person. The title on the face of it is used to mean that something seems to be good, true, etc. but that needs to be changed when you know more about it. Now the, in this slide students, I have given you a few questions. You have to write the answer of these questions. Listening to the video very attentively. Question number one, who is Mr. Lamb? How does Derry get into his garden? Question number two, what is the attitude of Mr. Lamb to the small boy who comes to his garden? Question number three, how does Mr. Lamb react to Derry's query? Aren't you interested? Question number four, how does Mr. Lamb change the subject from ugly face to ripe apples? Question number five, why according to Derry has the old man changed the subject? <clears throat> Question number six, why do these arguments fail to console Derry? Question number seven, what explanation does the small boy offer for coming into the garden? Question number eight, how does Derry interpret the fairy story Beauty and the Beast? Now dear students, there is a continuation of this chapter and it will be continued in video or you can say the part second. Thanks for watching and listening.